Yo, what's up, guys? Got brisket. See, coastline. Then got really baked in. See, got yeah. and got a pickle, onions, and then pepper. I haven't touched my talent. Some of you guys probably wonder why. Because I like eating size first. I kind of forgot to uh, get my, get my uh, selfie stick there. And the last uh, Billy uh, Sam's barbecue restaurant I ate at was in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And everything was like $13 or something like that. a lot of people are watching. Five people with two thumbs up. There you go. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you. I think I gotta eat good, brother. I gotta eat good, you know? Yeah, thank you. Hi, brother. I kind of like eating the sides first, and then I eat the sandwich. I haven't had brisket in a long, long time. Hold on, you guys. Not much, man. We just did it too much. So yeah, I was probably from uh, that's the restaurant right there, you yeah. go. Yeah. I think they only hired Billy Sims at uh, Oklahoma. Because whenever I went to Texas, I didn't see that. So I don't know if they have them or not. See? Too much onion. Mm.
So, what are you up to, butter? We up to butter. I see. Really, it's the coastline. So guys, who you think won the election? I think that it looks like either Biden or Trump won because they're very close together. Well, Trump got to get 271, and Biden got to get 270. So if Trump gets 271, it's pretty much over. If Biden gets 270, he's getting choked. But, but it might take a while, because they did say the election results are going to be delayed due to our counting and stuff. We never had an election cycle where where it was delayed so long. Until back in 2016 um, we found out like on the same night who won, and Hillary Clinton called up Donald Trump to congratulate him on his victory, 2016. But now, Joe Biden and uh, Trump, now uh, Trump think that he should win every state, mostly every state. What a lot of people don't fully realize, 
Biden or him don't determine who's the winner. The American determine it. Whenever they count, the American voters determine it. You know? That's why he filed that lawsuit on uh, missing Secretary of State. Because, you know, Trump don't think it's a fair process. And he don't like the fact that Biden did pretty good with the early voting. He doesn't like that. And you would think that he would be confident because he knows he's he might possibly win. So but Brisket sandwich. It's a brisket sandwich. There's uh, Billy uh, Sam's barbecue. This is the brisket. I had coleslaw and Billy baked beans. Okay. Brisket. Sometimes I feel like my YouTube life is treating me bad. Because even though, even though not too much stuff is going on in my streams anymore, there's still people coming in here, doxing Shannon and doxing me and attacking me. Even whenever I talk about other stuff or I do other stuff because they're jealous because I'm taken care of. So, still having the same old, same old. But my real life is good, though. life is complicated. Social media life. I know a lot of people don't really consider social media life life, but but since I'm a high thing for writer, you know and I have a lot of friends on uh You can see why. Hello. 
really see why things really can affect Thank you, guys. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, I did take breaks, but I guess that didn't help it. I took breaks, like, a couple of weeks ago. I didn't go live for, like, four days. So, I did take breaks and stuff, it's just, it's more, it's more severe than what a lot of people think it is, you know, like, because I'm a public figure, so content creator on YouTube, and and I'm in front of the camera, and the people that's messing with me is behind the keyboards. And it's only a couple of this, a couple of people that's doing it. You know, it's not is nobody like random at all because they like to see me get mad. And they make fun of that. Well, calling the police on someone who comes under fake accounts, you know, that's not going to really do any good. That's why these people know that. Because I can make a police report and everything like that. But the police would tell me to stay off the internet. If you're having problems with people on the internet. And me, YouTube is pretty much pretty much my thing because I do it for y'all guys. And I do it because I enjoy doing it. And I'm not gonna call myself to be ran off by no woman who has 50 accounts with a couple of other women. And I know these people are not random people. I know who they are, I just can't physically prove who they are. And that's the problem. Because they have messed with me before and they have told other people before too, and they have admitted trolling too, other people. But trolling is not against the law, but it's against YouTube's terms of service. But you can create a hundred accounts, even if that other account gets suspended or deleted. Those people can create many accounts as they want. To. I even showed people pretty much how easy it was and you know, how fast it was to come into account. And plus, uh, my friend told me about this program that uh, that I could tell who's real and who's fake. But the thing about it is, I'm trying to figure that out. 
what that program is because because I don't know what I don't know what they were talking about whenever they told me about it. They didn't say a name or nothing. So, yeah, uh, but uh, they got this program where you can figure out who's doing what, but I just don't know the name of it, you know? So, I'm trying to figure that out so that way I can uh, have physical evidence. But I do know who they are, it's just I don't have physical evidence to uh, link them to it. You gotta have physical evidence. You know? And that's why I keep on documenting every day. And maybe one day these people would, uh, will crack and will make a mistake that would, uh, reveal their two colors, reveal their identity, you know, because the thing about YouTube is people get docked all the time on YouTube, and nothing never get done about it. And there's so much stuff going on in the world, the police can only do so much. You know? So it's out of their hand and you know, out of out of their their lead and stuff. You know, and all the police would do is say stay off the internet and people harassing you and body. But if they were doing it on like video, like making videos threatening me, that right there would be a different story. Because that right there would be evidence enough that they're, doing, they're committing a crime. But, but trolling is really not a crime. It's, it's just a policy violation. Yeah. And that's why they do it, because they know that they can get away with it. And, and I think YouTube needs to step it up a little bit and, and change some ways where people can't just uh, create an account and just attack people, you know? But until YouTube does that, people are still going to be victims of a attack in cyberbullying, Cypher stocking, doxing, intimidation, all of that. Doxing, however, is a crime, but you gotta prove that that person that's doxing you is actually that person. Even though I know who it is, but I gotta have physical evidence that will link that person to the doctor. And if someone knows, like, how to, how to find that out for me, then please, please be sure to reach me out on my email. Because I just wanted to stop. And I know that sometimes people have too much time on their hands and a lot of people are bored. So of course they're going to, you know, like, first they're going to uh, try to make your life miserable. Because they're bored with their own life. But it's not because 
you are doing something wrong to them now it's because you're bored and i didn't try to talk about other stuff i even tried to uh freaking ignore them but they still won't leave me alone so ignoring them is not an option at all because they're still going to mess with you because you know why because when you're dealing with psychopaths you're not dealing with no random trolls who just comes in every once in a while and trolls you're not dealing with no no random people at all I wish I was dealing with just random people I could freaking you know run them off but no you're dealing with a couple of women who are psychopaths and narcissistic who, no matter what you say, wrong or right, they just won't leave you alone. No matter what you do, they won't leave you alone. And you're dealing with narcissists and psychopaths. Do you think a narcissistic who's messing with you or a psychopath who's messing with you is going to actually leave you alone? Probably not. Most likely, they won't leave you alone. You know, it's a high chance that they will never leave you alone. Because ignoring is, is pretty much, it's not an option. Because these people push you to the limit to where it's hard to ignore. And the stuff that they say is not small stuff that you could just laugh and, and just go on with it. Now, it'd be stuff like they'd be trying to destroy lives. And that's a big thing. You know what I'm saying? And uh, trying to put people's lives in danger. But if any of y'all know how to find out how to get evidence of who a lot of these people are, then you could email me and with the evidence and then I can turn the evidence right into the police. Or y'all know someone that can find out stuff. You know? And that would be very, very helpful. Because I just want it to stop. You know what I mean? Because I'm living my best life you know, I'm not living my worst life, I'm living my best life. And I'm trying to continue to live my best life. You know, I'm not committing no crimes out there. Barely seen. At all. Hey, what's up, Flower Power? What's up, Flower Child? Yeah, but think about that. You can have all the screenshots you want to. But what I need is evidence of who these people are. You know, I wish I... I know someone that can find out, but... You know, uh... But if y'all have anybody that y'all know that might could find out, that could, could, uh... Give me evidence of who these people are really are, so that way it would help a little bit and uh, and everything like that. That would be appreciated. Because, you know, you could have all the screenshots you want. Oh, 
Hello. Hey, uh, can I get Newport's 100s? Uh, uh, Long's 100s. You got an idea anyway? Uh, yes, I do. I must be young. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Right. <laughs> You're younger than me, so you yeah. must be 869. I'm 18 now. <laughs> I love the sense of Hoover, though. Because I get that all the time. Yeah. 131, hey. Keep Even though that I'm 36, going to be 37. Yeah. Soak it in while you can, man. Yeah, exactly. All so right. Have a good one. Like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> now, yep. Thank you. Hello. But, you know, it might, it might sound like I'm ranting about things and complaining, but I just pretty much want it to stop. That's all. You know what I'm saying? That's not really hard. It's not something hard to ask for, you know? And ignoring them is not an option at all. Because a lot of people uh, say ignore them, but they don't really know how bad it is. Or they forget how bad it is. Or they forget who I'm actually dealing with. Narcissistic people and psychopaths. You know, they keep forgetting that. Apparently. You know? And they keep forgetting the stuff these people have done to me and my people that's in the chat. I'm not going to say, I know who it is, I'm not going to say uh, right in the stream, but I know who it is. And they know who they are too. But I'm not going to put it out there publicly. And I'm pretty sure some of my people know who they are too as well, because it's very simple. Think about it. There's not that many people against me like that. Think about who used to attack me right under the regular accounts. And think about who got a history of trolling multiple, multiple, uh, multiple, uh, multiple uh, content creators. You know? Think about it for a second. It's very simple. You know? So, yeah. Uh, and the reason why they're not the reason why they're not trolling those people anymore simply because those people might have had gave might have had took legal action or might have uh, got the police involved. So that's probably why. Cause they're they're finding 
victims, people who might not have a lot of resources or might not have thousands of people uh, watching them, you know, writing in their chat or typing in their chat, people might not have a lot of backup. Because they're not picking on people that have a lot of backup and have a lot of resources. They're only picking on smaller content creators with less resources. I already know who it is. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to say, you know, who it is. But if you think about it, who has the history? Of really messing with it, and who has the history of messing with others? Not just on the troll account, but also on the their regular account. And the reason why they don't use the regular accounts anymore because they know that you can report the regular accounts, and they don't care about their troll accounts being reported. But if you, but they don't want to. But they don't want their regular accounts to be taken down. So that's why they create all of these accounts with my address, with Shannon's address, with Shannon's full name, with my full name, over and over and over and over. That sounds like a narcissistic person. Not no random person at all. And it gets worse and worse and worse. Like, I wish it was like, I wish they didn't did it and then just just stop doing it for good. But, nah. And, uh, they, they're not going to stop. You know, uh, but it's very simple to know who who that person is you know because it's not really hard like it's not a person who you don't know you know what I'm saying of course I didn't have random trolls in the past but those random trolls did not take things to a level where I had to take breaks and to a level where it's almost no return and or to a narcissistic level a psychopathic level you know what I'm saying uh, that's why some of my friends don't live stream or don't make videos but making videos is it's, it's pretty much much safer because when you're live you see people see you live and plus you see a live chat but making videos the videos are already made and pretty much already uploaded and so you don't got to worry about when you're making that video people coming in that coming in that chat messing with you unless you are doing like a freaking premiere video but premiere videos are different because the the recording is already you know recording is already done you basically just premiering the video it's kind of like you know uploading the video but people get to talk to you in the chats and everything like that You know, but with live streams, uh, you look at something that's that's live, like live messages and stuff, comments. That's a whole different ball game.
Hello. I guess they they haven't came over here and did any housekeeping, but cause I can tell the bed is like pretty much not made up or anything like that. But uh, yeah, you know, like I know who's doing it. You know, I don't just have my suspicion. You know, I have freaking this certainty who do it. I just don't put it out there public. Because that just gives them more and more attention. When you, you know, because cause when you're talking about something, uh, uh, you can be talking about anybody. You know what I'm saying? It's not like people can really prove who you're talking about. They got to say it without saying the name. You know? Hold on, I got to mute this. Oh, sorry. No, I blocked you yesterday because uh, because uh, it was a it was a mistake, sir. Because I thought you was someone else. I kind of figured. Well, can Stewie? But Stewie trolled me too, though. So why should I believe anything that he said? I know there's other people that do it too, but okay. Yeah. Alrighty, thank you. Can you uh send me proof of it, like receipts or anything? So that way, just in case I have to make a video about it, I. Maybe tomorrow or later on this weekend. Because I don't want to just like make a video and then not have any proof about it or anything like that. Because whenever I come with proof that uh, Emmy Rose won't be able to refute it or won't be able to say I'm lying or 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 won't try to you know make up excuses or won't try to say oh no that's not true you know but however I do believe you though 
because it makes a lot of sense because Flower Power, she's friends with Stacy. And me and Stacy has had problems, had a lot of problems. And she would do anything pretty much for Stacy. Pretty much uh Emmy Rose would do anything for Stacy. And she got a history also of trolling people too. No, and uh, so yeah, I think it's a really, really high possibility. Because why would someone just come in someone's chat and just mess with them every day? Who has time for that? You know what I'm saying? Who has the motivation for that? Who, 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 who does that? You know what I'm saying? Like, who has time every day to come in someone's chat that's not even big? Hey, what's up, bestie? What's up, Shannon? But, however, I do think it's, it's Emily, Emily Rose. But I know there's it's a few other people that's a part of the tip. But, because... Me and Stacy is not friends, and me and Stacy has a, a history together. So she's friends with Stacy. So she would troll other people who would disagree with Stacy, and she has done it to other people before, even uh, married Midwestern, and and a lot of other people. So, and she had been called out for it. Emily Rose has been called out for it, too, from a lot of people. Just look up Emory Rose Exposed, and, and you see multiple videos of people calling her out for trolling, doxing, bullying, all of that. You know? But yeah, Stewie does troll people, too. You know, that's no fact. That's one hundred percent no. You know, that's not something that we just think he does. That's well known. He's a well known troll. He's a popular troll around the YouTube community. And he has called under his regular account, he has called Shannon a baby snatcher. And he has attacked Shannon under his regular account. So that should tell you what else has he done under other accounts? And he also admitted on his video is he don't care about doxing people. He will dox anybody. Because why would you admit on your video about doxing people? You know, like. But the thing about it is no one is going after his family at all. And the women that probably went after his family is probably because he was being a bully to them first. Because I know he liked to stir up the pot. Exactly. He liked to come in people's chats and stir up the pot. So you get what you get when you when you are a well-known troll and well-known to, to dox people, uh, even people that are innocent, like Shannon and everything. You know, Shannon didn't do nothing to that board, but speak her mind. And, uh, of course, he's not going to attack Flower Child because Flower Child barely talks to him. Uh, and Becca, he's not going to attack her because... Becca don't really talk to Sue like that. But people have stood up to him. He, he won't attack them. And that's why he's, he's going after a lot of people. You know, because if you stand up to Stewie, he's going to go after you. And he's going to go after, you know, he's going to dox you. He's going to attack you, bully you, all of that. And that's well known. That's something like is known for him to do. People try to say, like people, other people try to say that he only defends himself 
And I'm surprised that Miss Buffy said that because how can you not know how it really is? You know what I'm saying? Maybe she probably don't know. But uh, she told me that he only, he's a troll, but he only goes out to people just to defend himself. But, no. That's BS. He is a bully, and he starts stuff. And maybe people have attacked his family. But when you come in someone's chat and attack them and, and stir up the pot, what do you expect? You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you expect? You know, uh, I stand up to him because I'm not scared of his little... Exactly, exactly. And that's why he got a problem with Shannon. Not because he, you know, would he try to claim Shannon was being racist? You know, and keep in mind, with that video with uh, Rebecca Teal, Teal, Teal or something like that, uh, she made up those, those messages and stuff. It was a different person impersonating Shannon and writing those messages. Just so that way everybody else can think Shannon was doing it. You know, because they want to blame poor Shannon for everything. And they want to blame me for everything, too. Even though that, you know, I tried to do my own thing with my own people. And... I don't go into their chats and troll them or even really talk badly about them, you know, in my own chat. And I try to, and whenever I do talk about these people, I try to be as neutral and equal and fair as possible. I try to look at it in their perspective, like, Okay, maybe they're upset because of this or because of that. But maybe uh, they just won't drop. You know what I'm saying? Because they know that they can't live without a little drunk. The drama is entertainment. You know, and it's kind of funny how they accuse us of, of liking drama, but all we want is we want to get rid of the drama. And we don't want to fight. You know? So, how is someone that wants to that's trying to get rid of it. Um, is. Like drama. That don't make any sense. At all. You know that's just like saying. That someone likes. It seems like. Someone saying that someone likes trolling. There's no indications, or there's no uh, witnesses, or there's no suspicion of the person really actually being a troll. But yet, they say, oh, well, you troll yourself. That's stupid. That's the most stupidest thing I ever heard from anyone that said that. You troll yourself. Especially coming from a person like me. Come on. Like, really? I trolled myself. Those accounts that came into my channel was me, right? So I I had power and so I just 
started to use my power and just putting, you know, no, that's impossible. And they know that it's impossible. But, oh shit. But they don't want to face the reality of it and be like, okay, okay, you know, we're just going to keep it real. Like, that'll be the most idiotic thing to say someone chose themselves when you know darn well that is not that is not that is not the case at all I'm trying to let it so that way And that right there, you guys, that just shows you a guilty side. Yeah, no matter what, he goes after me all the time. Can you imagine, Flower Child, someone going after you all the time, like someone like Stewie going after you all the time? You know, like, it doesn't matter what it is. One minute he played nice because he wants to be in the chat. And then the next minute he shows because he had a wrench in there. Starts attacking me. Name calling me. You know? So, me personally, if I was bombshell, I would set them straight because I'm not only a ranch in Bombshell's chat, but I'm also a supporter. And I'm also a paid member in her chat. So I feel like I should, I deserve the respect. And uh, I get it that some people just don't care but I do care when it comes to me and when it comes to Shannon when it comes to all of y'all because that's what friends are supposed to do they're supposed to care you know what I'm saying so anybody messes with y'all guys they don't want the Angry Bird to be released. Because I ain't playing with these people at all. Messing with y'all. For no reason. And even if they did have a reason, still, it still would not make it right. Because everybody, we are all friends on the internet. So, some of us, you know, if, if someone's messing with you, then contact them and tell them what your problem, why, you know, you know what I'm saying? And attacking them is, that right there just makes you look bad because, you know, you say that you want to go after people that go after you, but, but you can't just go after people first and, and add things on and then say, and then say that you are just defending yourself. The self-defense is like, okay, someone 
one goes after you first for no reason and just keeps on picking on you, keeps picking on you, and then you go off of them. That right there is just a reaction on a reaction. Yes, people say that you shouldn't react, but Stewie is not your typical troll at all. He's not your typical guy on YouTube that's going to let uh, that's going to let let things go. You know what I'm saying? He is probably one of the biggest trolls in this in a small YouTube community. You know? And I know there's other people out there just like him. But you have to admit that he's no better than any troll that ever crossed this chat. You know what I'm saying? He's no better than any of the trolls that ever ran across us. Um, a lot of people in the hotel tell me, uh, Biden, but I think they both have a higher chance. I think both of them have a bigger chance, both of them. And some people, most people in the hotel tell me Biden is winning. Tell me that Biden is going to win, I mean. Biden is going to be president. But I do think that both of them have a really big, big high chance of actually, you know, actually uh, becoming president. You know, and, and Donald Trump has a high chance of being reelected. Both of them have high chances. As long as it's fair, as long as there's no cheating involved. And as long as it's legal, it's a legal process, then I think that we we going to know pretty soon. Because right now they're having delays. And I'm like, okay, like, because they had the early voting in the in the mail mail in ballot messed that up. And, but that mail-in ballot kind of favored Biden a lot because people were actually able to mail their, mail their ballots in and everything instead of just going to, to uh, turn it in and stuff. And some people like, now, nah, I'm going up there and turn it in. I'm not mailing it because I don't know where it's going to go or, or what they're going to do with it. You know what I'm saying? Because they they did say that a lot of the mail-in ballots were not counted and, and uh, everything like that. But uh, a couple of days ago, like three days ago, uh, I heard that uh, that uh, a couple of days ago I heard I can't think what I'm going to say I think I'll come back to it and stuff I'm like I have a lot of going on right now but yeah um Oh yeah, oh yeah. A couple of days ago when I was watching something on Facebook, uh, they were saying that some of the, uh, like when people would go, when people was going to go up there to cast in their vote and they're turning their ballots, uh, this woman 
up there was saying that the machine was down, but later they found out the machine was not really down. They lied. But before they knew exactly what was going on, uh, they said, just give me your valance and we'll turn it in. But that's illegal for them to do that. So, so it seemed like they was trying to do something illegal because they can't turn it in for you. Uh, you have to turn it in. The person that's voting has to turn it in, not dick. You know what I'm saying? That's illegal to do that. Yep. I think that he has uh, Nevada, but I don't know about Arizona. I, but I got a feeling, I got a, I got a really good feeling that he has Nevada. But I don't know about Arizona because, you know, Trump might try to figure something out or something like that. So, but he's like, uh, you know, Trump already filed a lawsuit. So, from from what I know of, because he think that it's some cheating going on. I'm like, really? The Democrats are not in the White House. The Republicans are. You know, like. So, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, 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 he is. But I know for sure that he would definitely get Nevada. You know, I know for sure, but I'm not 100% sure that he would get Arizona, even though that he's leading in both states. But I know for sure that he would definitely get Nevada. You know, for sure, for sure. Because keep in mind as they're as they're counting all the ballots and everything, uh Trunk has to get two seventy one just to get reelected again. And Biden has to get 270 just to get fiscally elected president. So if Biden gets 270, Trump can't do nothing about that. And Biden is really close. Like he, I saw where he was like 264. And that's like close, like that's really really close like that's close close and trunk got 214 but however that might all change whenever they do the, all the accounting and stuff like that whenever they get done with that but yeah biden has to definitely win arizona and nevada but i do believe that he's gonna win nevada you know. But I'm not like 100% sure we're Arizona, but I know that he would definitely win the battle. And, and everything. But I guess we will see what happens from there.
you know. Because obviously Trump, you know, is up to no good right now. So, you know, he's trying to, he's trying too hard, you guys. He's trying too hard when it comes to this election. And that's not good. I had to put on a new shirt because I got barbecue sauce on my um, on my uh, shirt, my blue shirt. But yeah, so hopefully they have the results. If not tonight, maybe Friday, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Because I really, truly want this election to be over with, like, the results and the count. I just want <coughs> the process to hurry up so we can know for sure, you know, that way in January 20th, you know, Whoever wins gets sworn in with president. But the thing about it is, it's been some. Uh, speculation that Trump would do anything in his power just to uh, try to interfere like he did in 2016. So, and, and that's why Hillary Clinton Didn't, didn't win. And don't get me wrong, Hillary Clinton, you know, I don't think that she should have, she should have actually been able to run for president neither. But however, you know, you got to look at who is the worst and who is the less worst. And to me, I think Trump is the, is the worst, and Hillary Clinton was the less worse, which meaning both of them was bad, but Trump was much worse than uh, Hillary Clinton. You know? So, I really think that uh, he's going to really, really try really hard because he knows that he can't win without cheating or without 
trying to uh, interfere with the election. You know? So, he knows he can't win with it being fair. You know? So, of course, he's going to say anything to make people think that he's right about everything. You know what I'm saying? But in 2016, he was right about the system being rigged. But the system was not rigged just with the, just with the Democrats. It was also rigged mostly with the Republicans, too. You know? He was right about that. It was being rigged, but it wouldn't, but it was only being rigged in his favor, pretty much. So he's basically, he was basically talking about himself, but he was actually uh, trying to make it seem like he was talking about the Democrats. Because the Democrats don't have no power, you know what I'm saying? They do when it comes to the House, but when it comes to the Senate and Congress, uh, the Democrats, you know, they have power, but not as much power as the Republicans. But he was right, the system was rigged. He was right about that. But but what he forgot to mention is the system was only rigged to make him president. And to or the Republicans to take over everything. Take over this whole world. The House and the Senate. So that way, uh the Republicans and who is in the Senate and because if the Democrats had the Senate in the House, Trump would have been already out of there. He would have been already out of there. Okay, yeah. And since the Republicans had the Senate, that's why he still that's why he still remained president. Because they had enough, you know, on him to really get him out of there. It's just the House can only, the House can uh, impeach him, has the power to impeach if something to impeach him about. Uh, but when it comes to making the final decision to convict, when it comes to like political crimes, not like street crimes or nothing like that. Because he was not being uh, accused of street crimes, you know? He was being accused of using his power in over office and abusing his power in the instruction of justice, you know? And that right there is not like a street crime or like something else that's a more like a like a government crime like a political crime yeah so uh, so he basically didn't commit a a type of street type of crime he committed a a federal crime as he was a sitting president in the white house which that's a totally different thing, you know. Because, 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 
really, technically, legally, they can't really, like, do anything when it comes to other things that he, he has done. But when it comes to his oath in office and what if he's protecting the Constitution, serving to protect the Constitution, and he's not withholding his oath in office, then yes, they can, you know, challenge that. But other stuff that he does, like on Twitter and all that stuff, they can't really do anything about it. No matter what he says, you know? Hey, what's up, baby? My second uh, girlfriend. Nah, I'm just joking. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. trying to wait until they come in here and they need to clean up it here. Hopefully they come pretty soon. I need to shave, you guys. I should have brought some shavings, some shaving stuff to shave. But, uh, oh, I'm doing pretty good, bestie. Thank you, uh, server uh, Rose, for coming in here and tell me, give me the 411 on it, uh, MB Rose and stuff. Uh, I'm still waiting on that evidence. You know, you can email me, server Rose.
So, 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 how you doing, Shady? That's good. Let me check, check my messages. Welcome back, Flower Power. You know, Flower Power. Well, I don't know if the housekeeping is going to come anytime soon. Hopefully they come. Cable's not working. In the hotel. Not on the second floor. A lot of people on the second floor have been saying that the cable's been out. But in where the lobby is, is working and stuff. You know. So it just saying when I turn it on, it's saying no signal or something like that. So So that's why I haven't been really watching too much TV here. I guess they it's like a technical issue or something like that. They had to bring the cable company out here and fix it. Yeah. Probably nothing they could really do about it. Until the cable company can come here and uh, work on it. No cable TV. Ever since a couple of days ago, I, we told them about the situation, but I guess it's a technical problem. So the the cable Cox cable had to come out and uh, look at it and stuff. But I don't know. Things kind of weird. Paying for hotel, no cable, TV. I need to brush my teeth. 
I need to brush my teeth, I'll be right back, you guys. Yeah, because, and, and see, another reason why I know is 90% chance Emmy Rose is, I don't know if you know Emmy Rose, uh, Flower Child, Flower Power, but she has attacked a very Midwestern and multiple other YouTubers, you know, who are really good people, you know? And, uh, but with Stewie, we know it's a 100% certain that Stewie is, is a trolley. And he's trolling. Because we know, you know, he definitely has a history of trolling a lot of people. And he only trolls people that stand up to him and stuff. For that, for your guys that that uh, don't stand up to him, it's probably that's probably why. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but see, me and Shannon, we stand up to him really hard. Uh, we knock him right in the nail. You know, you know, like. We're not solved for that like that. You know, uh, and that's what triggers hell. You know, like, he thinks people standing up for him, for standing up to him, he thinks that's attacking him. You know, and if that's really, really the case, then he doesn't even know the meaning by attacking. You know? He doesn't even know the meaning by attacking. 
like someone standing up to himself from a bully. Obviously, they must be attacking because they're standing up for themselves. And what I mean by standing up is going hard on him because he, he's a bully. He's a troll. He's a well-known troll. And I get angry because he's not going to mess with my friends. And all I'm going to say is leave my friends alone. Nah. Nah, I'm going to go hard on you, Mr. My friends, any of my friends. And that's why I mean standing up to him. Now, I'm going to hit him right in the nail with the hammer. Hypothetically speaking, really. Because he deserves everything that he gets. Messing with people, causing problems. You know, if he was such a good guy, then why he came in the chat and called your uh, called your uh, your best friend baby snatcher? And then he said the reason why he said that because she was being racist towards him. You know, so, so, so that's right there, his own words, you know what I'm saying? Because I asked him, why do you, why do you hate Shady so much? He was like, well, because she uh, was racist toward me. So I was like, okay. And, and, uh, and, uh, but get this, even if Shannon went after him, I don't blame her because this guy, he messes with anybody that fights back. Anybody that fights back. And a lot of times he messes with people for no reason too. Because he doesn't really, certain people who he, who he doesn't attack because he don't really care about them. He, he's trying to hurt the, he's trying to hurt the other people. He's not trying to hurt you, Flower Child, or Becca, or nothing like that. He's trying to hurt me and Shannon. You know what I mean? And that's the reason why he's not really going after you like that. You know? But... He trying to hurt the people who hit him hard. You know what I'm saying? You know? Because you are neutral. And, and you are much nicer to him than me and Shannon is. And, and really, technically, I'm much nicer to him. But I'm also hard on him. And, you know, and Stewie don't like it. He don't like people being hard on him. He wants someone to agree with everything that he's doing. Because if you agree with everything that he's doing, Stewie will be your friend. You know? That's just like the way Stacy is, but Stewie's much worse than that. You know? But he's harmless, though. But he, he is a bad person. And that's a fact. That's not just me saying it or a couple of other people are saying it. We all know that. Even his people who defend him know that, too. But they are the ones not going to... Because they're scared to say so. They're scared to tell the facts, you know, because they're afraid of getting attacked. Because everybody that have stood up to him, most of them, he have attacked. You know what I'm saying? Most of them. But they say 
that what goes around comes around. And it might come ten times harder on the other person who is who is the bully and the attacker. You know what I'm saying? So it might be worse for the person who is pretty much bullying someone else. So but the thing about it is I never agree with any doxing or doxing kids or doxing family members. No. But when you are a type of person like Stewie, you get what you get. You know what I'm saying? You know, and that's just reality. That's not something just, you know, I just freaking read in the book. That's just the reality of that. You get what you get. When you're a bad person, you get what you get. Simple as that. That's just like that old saying, doing to others as you want them to do it to you. And a lot of people on YouTube don't do it to others as they want them to do it to them. So, that's why I think that, you know, if he did get attacked, it's probably because, you know, he didn't follow that rule, do it to others as you want them to do it to you. He didn't follow that, that rule. That simple rule, you know, he didn't follow that rule. And that's probably why people said what they said about him. Because majority of people I know in the YouTube community, and some of them who are in the drama community, some of them, not all of them, some of them only, only say some or fight back is whenever they have a reason to do so. Some of them, not all of them. Some of them just just want to, just want drama. That's how that is. But some of them actually, they defend themselves because someone is coming after them first. And that's why they stand up for themselves and some of them they might go hard on that person and others might stand up but they're not as hard on that person as as this other person so of course the person that's not hard on them like that of course they're not going to really mess with or really really care about so, the problem is that, you know, we hard on that boy. And we're not scared of him either. We're not scared to even say it in the chat, uh, you know, when he's attacking Shannon and stuff like that. You know, we're not even scared to defend Shannon. You know what I'm saying? So... That's what, that's what his problem with some people that come into my chat. Because he don't want no one to tell him to knock it off and tell him to stop. And, and plus he's, he's used to people telling him, it's okay, Stu's just defending himself. You know, he's used to people lying to him and saying that he's a good person. But if more and more people, if the majority of these women on this on this platform stood up to him, he'll probably be like, okay, I give up. I'm not going to pick on these women or pick on any anybody online. But it's only like a small amount of people who stand up to him, and that's the prop, you know? And that's why he's able to get away with crap that I can't get away with, or that Shannon can't get away with, or that, uh, 
anyone in my chat can get away with it. And uh, that's just messed up, you know, really, really messed up. I'm about to go outside. I want my portable charger over there to charge up before I go outside because my Samsung is, is the battery is really low, so I'm keeping it in. I'm keeping it right on the charger, and and I'm trying to wait until the housekeeping one becomes so that way I can just go outside, you know, and stuff like that, as she cleaning and all the other stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna stay one more night uh, because the power is still not on. But uh, Jesse predict my power to come on later on tonight. But if that happens, then I get to leave in the morning and check out and go home. But I have work to do when I go home. I have to clean out and then I have to put baking soda, open the baking soda and put it right in that fridge and stuff. From what my uh, friend uh, Michelle told me, you know, last night. You know, I got a lot of work to do when it comes to that refrigerator. Because if it was just if the if the uh, power was just off for one day that right there would be a different story. But it's been off for 10 days. And then if it's still off until Friday, then it would be 12 days, almost a week. Oh yeah, I already know the smell because I went over there yesterday and uh, I got some clothes and plus I got an extra charger. I already know that it smelled right when I walk in and I already smelled it. I could smell it like just walking in. Because I haven't been home plus my power's been out. And plus I didn't even know how long the power was gonna be out, you know. I thought it was just gonna be a couple of days, but obviously those days turned into couple almost a couple of weeks and um, but however this is not the first time that I've been without power for a while uh, years ago uh, I was without power for like three weeks and then when I was y younger I remember being without power for a whole month you know, I had to stay somewhere else, me and my mom and uh, my sisters and brother. We had to stay somewhere else and stuff like that. We had to stay over a relative house. So this is, you know, this is something that's, that's not surprising to me, but But I didn't know how bad it was going to be until last week. Uh, did what? Yeah, how you think I got this shirt? <laughs> I went back to the, uh, went back to the, uh, how you think I got the extra chargers and stuff? I told y'all yesterday and pretty much earlier, I went back to the house and, uh, when I walk to the door, it's uh, it smelled that meat, and the only thing was bad. Well, the only thing was good 
was uh of course that pop you know pop is not gonna get bad like that yeah uh so yeah you know it's uh and a lot of people didn't know how bad it was going to be. A lot of people thought it was just going to be two days. But I don't know if you looked it up or not. If you looked up where the power outage, you know, in the ice storm in Oklahoma. But, like, like a lot of people didn't know how bad it was going to be at all until later. Like, like we realized, like, wow. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's crazy, you know, it's really, really crazy, you know, uh, and we was not prepared or expecting this at all. We knew that it was going to be, the weather was going to be bad before it got bad, but we didn't know it was going to not the power out in a whole area and other areas too around Oklahoma City and other cities too as well. The restaurants over there by my side uh, uh, if you go over there uh, at night it looks like a ghost town. Normally, you would see a lot of places like at around six, seven o'clock open. You see a lot of light, and and, and you would see a lot of people outside. You know, like like a lot of people, you know, outside and everything like that. But if you go there at six, seven o'clock at night around my area then you would notice that the whole area is shut down. It would make it seem like the whole area is shut down because there's nothing open. There's no lights to anybody. Nobody has any lights. The only place that has lights is gas stations because gas stations, they have to make sure they have lights because people need gas, uh, and the gas stations are are always going to make sure that they have power. Yep. So uh, that's the only place was open is the gas station. I don't But if you go down there or some where my apartment is, you notice it's dark, and you have to have a flashlight to go around my apartment. You know, because it's so dark, it's, you can't see. You won't be able to, uh, to see without a, without a flashlight right on your phone. It's so dark. And a lot of people are still there because a lot of those people are not like me or like some of us who have resources, who can go over someone's house who have power or who have generators. A lot of those people don't have no choice but to stay right there until the power comes out. But my next door neighbor, he left and went to a hotel. Uh, but he stayed there a couple of days uh, after the ice storm hit. Hit, uh, hit Oklahoma really, really bad. But if you want to know about it, just look it up. Just look up Oklahoma City Ice Store. And and it would uh it would tell you a lot about it. You know it's crazy. It's crazy. Wow power. Uh so yeah, so people were wondering what was wrong with my electricity. That's because the ice storm caused the power outage. Because some of those trees were uh, fell down 
where the power lines are at and not a lot of the power lines out. So that's why they called the big, huge power outage. That's why I was staying in hotels. Even though I told people way before I was going to go to a hotel, uh, they forgot that my power was still off. Yeah. And plus I told, I told some of y'all that it might be more than a week because they have thousands of other people to work on. And, and so that's why it's taking so long. So, uh, yeah, that's why I'm here. If the power would have been on yesterday, I wouldn't be here. I would be at home. Yep. You know, uh, but I'm glad I'm able to uh, go to a hotel and and uh, stay until my power comes back on. Because they did say, OG and E did say that uh, my electric company, because they did say uh, that if some people might be without power for a month. Seriously. They did say that right on the local news. If you want to, you know, like watch it or something like that, you can just go to uh, News 9. Just look up News 9 Ice Story. And you will find it. And uh, they did say that it could take a, a month and stuff like that. For some people. To get power. Can you imagine being without power for a month? So OG &E, the electric company, cannot shut. If people had was if people have passed due electricity and they have a notice that their electricity was gonna get shut off before the ice storm, then legally the electric company can't shut it off because it was already shut off for a long time. Legally, they can't do that. And they can't charge you when it was shut off so long. So, uh, because, because you're not using the, the electricity. You know, because it, it's been off for over a week. This is, uh, this is actually, I think, day 11, I think. Wait a minute, because it went out Monday, so it'll be, uh, it'll be two weeks on Monday, on next Monday, since that happened. So, So it's like, so it's day 10, and then tomorrow will be day 11 since it, that ice storm hit. And then Monday will be 14 days. Uh, yeah, uh, and the reason why some areas, some areas don't, uh, some areas don't get hit, like some, states and several areas because they their power systems are a little different than Oklahoma or California or, or this place and that's why they don't have to worry about stuff like that you know, it, it, it it's like once in a blue moon that they would have to worry about stuff like that yeah but Oklahoma, boy, anything goes. It's unpredictable. This state is unpredictable when it comes to weather, when it comes to a lot of stuff. And I know that your, your son lives in uh, Ukiah, Oklahoma. But the thing about it is, you know, have you checked on your son to see if he got power or 
see how it is, where he's at, and stuff. Have he told you about the ice storm, you know, right in Oklahoma? Uh, flower power. Cause it's uh, it's crazy. It's like really, really crazy, you guys. And I'm glad that none of y'all guys came and visited me. You know, this last week. You know, you know, uh, because cause we both will be in the hotel. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, I guess bad timing, I guess. You know? And last week was probably one of the worst times to 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 try anybody to take a trip to Oklahoma uh, because like if someone would have tried to come in Oklahoma last week they would have to go to a hotel or go somewhere that to a hotel that has power. And some of these hotels, you know, they lost their power too as well. That sucks that a place that's an alternative when your power goes out, they lose their power too. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I asked y'all, like, like, uh, like what would y'all do if y'all didn't have that option, no option at all? You know, like, 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 what would some of y'all do? You know, we, let's say if you live with your family and, and and you didn't have no option, would you go nuts? I probably would go nuts, pretty much. I ain't gonna lie. I probably would definitely go nuts, but, uh, But it's a blessing to uh, always be ensured that you have a place to stay. Because that's what a mentor and a caregiver is supposed to make sure. You know what I'm saying? And that's just like your mom and dad is, you know, like... Your mom and dad wouldn't want you to be without a place, or wouldn't want you to live in a live in a in a house or apartment complex with no power. You know, that's not good at all. And there's there's nothing wrong with people helping other people, or people making sure that that uh, people can get to a hotel, can can uh can get to a hotel and uh they can stay there until things go back to normal with the power outage I'm speaking of. Because some people, you know, were coming in the chat, making up false claims, whenever they knew darn well, all they had to do was look up the ice store, just look up Oklahoma City weather, and it would just pop up just like that. And, and I already explained it, like on the first video that I ever made about the situation. So so they knew they knew I you know the situation was really bad. Yes? Yes? Okay. 
I'm coming down. What? I'm coming. Oh, oh, never mind. No, they haven't cleaned it. I left earlier, but they haven't cleaned it. I need, oh, okay. I, I need some uh, tissue and I don't really need towels, you know. Just give me tissue. Okay, thank you. Appreciate you. I overheard them talking to knock on my door. I thought that was, you know, like, but it was on the other side. And then it was like, it was like, what? Because, <laughs> you know, when someone's knocking on the, the next door, sometimes it uh, sounds like they're knocking on you know, your door. You know what I'm saying? Like, like whenever you, whenever you, like, at home and you are in your apartment or your house which the houses look different because the houses are not together but apartments like you live next door to someone and then someone's knocking on the door you know saying housekeeping and then so you got to really look in the hole to see if they're knocking on your door or not But if you don't have a hole, then you got to open the door and see. Yeah. But I thought they were because the housekeeping haven't been here. Because the bed, when I got back, the bed was not made up. I could kind of tell that they were not here. So, but the only thing I needed is tissue. So... I didn't need too much, and plus, plus, this don't even look like really, really dirty, you know? It don't look all filthy and dirty and stuff like that, just to, you know, so, so, it's basically, it's fine. It's fine, yeah. So, that's probably why they, you know, like come in here and do any, like, cleaning and stuff. Cause I keep it clean. You know what I'm saying? Some people they like to put trash all over the floor. And, uh, like to put all spill stuff on the carpet. And a lot of bunch of trash and stuff. I normally like try my best to not, you know, like eat like eat uh whenever I buy food I try my best to eat out to the restaurant so I won't have a lot of trash in here you know what I'm saying and that's why it's not so like dirty and filthy or nothing like that You know, I don't really like eating here, eating here, and like that. But if I did, then yes, it would be a little messier. It would be a little, uh, it would be a little messier. You know what I'm saying? So that's why is is that's why it's well kept up. Because I try to eat things like outside, like at restaurants and stuff, so it won't have any a lot of trash and stuff. But maybe they need a vacuum. They might need a vacuum. You know, probably. Other than that, everything's fine. You know? Like, it's fine in here, you know. If you walk in here yourself, you notice that it's fine. Everything.
Everything is good. You know? Well, that's probably why that you really have to do too much with it, you know? And plus, I straighten things up, too. And I pretty much picked up things off the floor and threw it away in the trash. Three people watching. Guys, what happened to all the, the thumbs up? Like, why is not that many thumbs up? We had four thumbs up. It kind of seemed like none of y'all guys thumbs it up. Maybe YouTube is messing with the thumbs up, but. Because it, it almost look like no one thumbs it up. Yeah. Except for like two people. Maybe people that thumbs it up probably didn't stay on that long. You gotta stay on at least for a minute to like 10 minutes. Which is crazy because, you know, but they, uh, they did come in the chat and say something, so. But I guess YouTube is kind of, you know, you know about that, but. I, yeah, that's all right, though. Yeah, I know, but, 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 
Why does it say only two thumbs up, though? That's my question. Because earlier we had like about seven thumbs up. Then it went to four. So now it's at two. Something wrong. That right there don't look right. Somebody's missing with the thumbs up, but. Probably Stewie. Well, Stewie was in here. The first one in here and stuff like that. He was in here for a little bit. And then he left and stuff. Yeah. Butter biscuit is Stewie. Shannon. But Shannon already know that. I know that, but. Oh. Some people, whenever I tell them, I'm probably going to have to get some business, some, uh, like, business cards made uh, through, my, through my channels. Because whenever I tell my channel, they're like, what'd you say, what'd you say? You know. They don't know, and plus they might forget to, some of them might forget to look it up, you know? So, it's better to give them a business card so that way they could just, later whenever they have time, they could just look it up. But it's very simple, you know, it's, it's very simple to find, you know, but still. Um, Yeah, it seemed like the the thumbs up just disappeared. It went from seven to four, and so now it's the two. So I know somebody got to be messing with the thumbs up button and the thumb down button too. Because down, a lot of thumbs down has been taken away. There's no way that YouTube is doing that. Somebody got to be messing with me. But anyways, you guys, as long as I have y'all, I guess that's all that matters, right, Shannon? So...
Make sure I get my Hello. Put more seats out here, so you can sit there. Yeah. But maybe it's the reason why they don't have a lot of yeah. seats out here. Yeah. It's all gravy though. I can stand behind that uh, glass. Hey, what's up, you guys? I don't know who's one person watching. Could be Shannon, could be Flower Power. Who could it be? Okay. I thought so. My besties always support me. My besties always here for me. I love you, bestie.
Well, I watched my uh, mash yesterday night and let it dry it out and stuff. And I think the reason why I was getting things on it because I was eating, you know, with it on, even though it was down here, still it might have just got on the food and stuff. And I have noticed that some people just take it off and, you know, you know, put it on their, the side of their uh, pen pocket and stuff. You know, because, uh, to the side you gotta I think you gotta sanitize it and stuff like that. Oh man. I'll get these uh, packs. But you got a with new ports. The calls. Two packs of this were hurt. Pretty much, almost. I love you too, bestie. I could have caught the bus today, but you know I don't know what the nearest uh, Dollar Tree is or nearest uh, you know sh shopping place where you can you know, look around. Stuff like that because over here they have a lot of hotels and restaurants and and they don't have like uh like over there at Bar Watch that you know this is like cross town type of area cross town south side cross town yep But my mentor is not too far from, you know, this location. She's like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, something like that. Depends on traffic, you know, if it's like, uh, if traffic is not that bad, she can get over here in 15 minutes. 
But my apartment is like 25 to 30 minutes. Because on, on the intersection over there, it's like always busy. And they got a lot of things blocked out. They always got roads blocked out. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, Shannon. Should have got some Q-tips. I need to clean my ears, but I'm about to use tissue to clean my ears. Uh, Not really much to do over here, like right now, like at this time of day, you know, unless you got a vehicle to drive a little farther, you know, a couple of miles away, or you can catch the bus. But the thing about it is, it's You gotta know exactly where you where you go. Cause I'm you know, I'm not firm around this area. I'm not like a I'm just staying in the staying in the hotel, that's all. But I have been in this area dozens of times before when I went to uh, Cowboys and Red Redneck Yacht Club and, and before the before they changed their name like three or four times I was over here uh, and then that IHOP that's over here I'm really familiar with that you know so uh, That's how I know some of these some of these places and with these hotels I never had to stay in a hotel over this area because I normally stay in hotels like on the north side or something like that like north like over there on the expressway places like that but people that's you know, live around this area, they're more familiar, you know, with the area than I am. But I know this this spot right here, you know, somewhat, because I used to club around this spot, you know, back in the day. Huh. Hotel. A lot of people are sit, sitting outside all the time, smoking cigarettes and chilling. But the other hotel wouldn't like that, really.
exercise, so that's the reason why I'm taking the stairs. Welcome back. Hmm. Yeah. Get some ice. But you gotta go like on the, cause on the second floor, uh, they don't have the ice machine with the first and third floor. They just. That's why. I had to go on the other floor just to get ice and stuff. You know. I thought all floors would have, you know. Ice machines. I know that this, this I think the reason why they don't have vending machines, I think that area where like the vending machines is taped up with caution tape and stuff. Uh, for some reason. You know, so they have like a little area where you can sit down and eat, and, and I'm pretty sure they got. You know, vending machines inside that the area where you can eat at. But it's all closed out though. For some perm reason.
So now they're saying that they changed it from from today, tonight, to tomorrow night. So I don't know, you know, and maybe people are right about that. It might be out for a little longer because whenever they said that last week, I thought uh, it was going to come on like they was going to restore the power sooner. But they keep changing it every day, like the time and the, uh, and the date and stuff. So they don't really know when it's going to be out. But they just give an estimate. Like an estimate is like, you know, it might be on this day or it might be on some other day. But they said that if it changes, then they would keep on uh, uh, emailing me and texting me about the update. So as soon as my power comes on, they will alert me and, and, uh, and text me and stuff. And I think it's for like a lot of people. A lot of people still without power though. So it's not just over there. It's like a lot of places like so many spots are without power. So many areas are without power. And I think the reason why this area uh, has power because the trees didn't really Cause this this uh, hotel does not have a lot of uh, uh, what's called uh, power lines by you know where it can just drop and then next thing you know it just you know the power goes completely off because certain areas I noticed the power line is not by the 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 building or not like that but mines the power line that went off by mines I'm pretty much above the apartment office so 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 we have a power line that went off right by there like right next to it and then and then it knocked out all of the rest of the apartments too, like the front, the back, every apartment, every uh, unit, every apartment unit, apartment building is out of power. And I don't know exactly when they're going to really shut back on the power because they keep changing the time and date to when, when the power might be shut back off so I'm assuming that they have not worked on it right in that that area like right in that uh, that street you know where I live at because keep in mind there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, buildings around that area they have to work on and stuff and they might have not gotten get right in that area yet or that. But they will let me know if they do, whenever they do. But it's kind of uh, scary being without no power for so long like that, get out. Cause sometimes when it's, when like things happen like this, sometimes people take advantage of it and they might break into apartment complexes or houses that 
they don't have power and they might try to steal things in uh, people's houses and stuff that's just like whenever they had like tornadoes and stuff and in these houses they got still got stuff in it and sometimes some of them would take advantage of that and, and loot and stuff like that in, in, in some of these areas you know that are hit pretty bad hey what's up Ola and I noticed that you know like even in even in other states they do that you know but especially right in Oklahoma they definitely you know they definitely loot when when it's like something really bad happen like people you know like have like a really severe weather that that destroys their homes and stuff so but a lot of people that have homes, they have, you know, insurance and all this stuff. And people that have uh, uh, businesses that get destroyed, all of them, they have insurance. So, so whatever gets damaged, they're covered. And, you know. Not much, not much. Just sitting here figuring out what to do. Nothing to do right now but just chill. That's all. <laughs> Unless you want to freaking walk around places or go downstairs, smoke a cigarette, or talk to people downstairs or something. But other than that, really nothing. Hmm. Look, yeah. The weather is pretty good today here where I'm at. You know, it's not, it's not cold, it's a little warm, but it's not cold, though. Like it was a couple of days ago. You know. So, that's a good thing. <laughs> I guess, you know. But, I'll be glad when this year is over with, so we can... <laughs> Head on to actual winter. Yeah. Well, here, I don't know if you know this, but in Oklahoma, we had an ice storm about over a week ago. And it knocked down some power lines, a lot of trees and power lines. So, since that happened, a lot of people lost power. Most people in, in Oklahoma lost power because of the ice storm that we had last Monday. And that was a really, really bad ice storm. Like, we knew that it was going to get bad. We just didn't know that all, the whole entire, uh, state was going to be like you know but some people still have power because some of their like some of their uh uh power lines was not by no trees or anything like that because the trees are the trees the freezing rain and the in the freezing made the trees fall fall on the fall on the ground and fall on the power line and but certain places pretty much got lucky because uh, they didn't have to worry about like the power just shutting completely off but I know it I know it was some hotels where the power 
went completely off. And the people at that hotel had to uh, go to another hotel. <laughs> Can you imagine the second option when your power goes out, the second option fails? So, then, so, so that way you got to go to another option. You know, like the secondary option. If your power goes out, you go to a hotel. But that power goes out too. You know, where do you go if the power is out everywhere, right? You don't got no other choice. So you got to find a hotel that hopefully still have power. You know? Yep. So that's what a lot of people are dealing with. Hey, you know, lots, hundreds of thousands of people are dealing with that. That's why the hotels are overcrowded. A lot of them are overcrowded because, you know, so many people are in hotel because some of them don't have no no option where they could just like hook up a generator and you know be fine until the power comes out you know some of them can't do that especially people who live in apartment complexes and stuff like that you know because you can't have generators in apartments but if you you basically would have to get your apartment manager or apartment landlord's permission to do so you know, hook up the generator, and plus the generator has to be outside, you know. So, as long as you, you have a way to put it outside, you know, then I guess you could do it, yeah. You know? But if you don't, then you screwed. You gotta either go to someone's house that have power or that has generators, but but even with the generators, the generators go out too from time to time too as well because 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 you are using a lot of a lot of gas and stuff like that you know so that's that's not 100% guaranteed neither so I just be glad when this year is over with, that's all, you know. And I have a birthday next month, two days before Christmas. I don't know what I'm going to do, you know. I won't know until that my birthday week, so. Because sometimes things change, especially with the weather and everything else that's going on, you know? So, I don't know. This year is a really bad year for everything, pretty much. We was thinking last year when we was in 2019 we was thinking that 2020 was going to be better than 2019 but it, it it has been the worst and worst ever of any decade since the 2000s since 2000 since 2010 and even since you know, the 90s or the 80s decade, you know? So, yep.
hopefully uh, this year will be over pretty fast, you know. Cause we got November, then after November we got December, and after December this year will definitely be over. So basically we only have less than two months. I should have showed y'all like how like how bad it was over there in my apartment you know all the tree branches like on the ground the power line is all on the ground everything is just messed up over there I should have showed y'all taking a picture of it and stuff when I went over there pretty much yesterday afternoon to get a few clothes and get my uh, charger and everything like that, get an extra charger. I think I would have been looking at it like, whoa, like, hey, you know? So, yep. Yeah. But the front, I think the back side of the apartment complex looks more, looks a lot worse than the front side of the apartment complex. Because the pole, the power lines in the, in the back knocked out pretty bad. In the front, it was, Really, it was barely any tree uh, branches on the ground, except for on the other side, like the at the end of the the other street, close to the end of the other street. You know, but we have over there, we have like um, over that block, we have like three or four apartment complexes. And, and then on that side where the where the grocery store is, like um, the Mexican grocery, you know, Bifles, uh we have behind it we have a park complex, but about five eight blocks down the other way we have park complexes. So. I don't know if the apartment complex is by that grocery store, behind that grocery store is, don't have power, I don't know, but uh, but I know the ones like over by the block that I live in is out of power. And some people thought it was just my apartment complex, but it's not, it's everywhere. It, uh, it's like everywhere, mostly everywhere. You know, the only places that probably don't, probably don't, probably didn't lose power is the ones like, uh, like the big retail stores or Walmart, clothing stores, uh, the convenience stores in, uh, 7-Eleven gas stations with the restaurants like Subway, Family Dollar, all the other stuff. Don't have no power. Hmm.
So, uh, yeah, it's it's been uh, one heck of a past two weeks, you know. Some of y'all guys are lucky that y'all don't have to deal with this. Because <laughs> y'all live in another state that haven't, haven't been hit by an ice storm yet. It's a blessing, you know, to, you know, to be able to get up and wake up and, you know, see the sun and go outside, you know, be okay. And, you know, it's definitely a blessing. No matter what's going on. Yep. Let me see.
What the hell? Говорит, <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all hear something, okay? From Joe Biden. On uh, his uh, channel, Joe Biden channel. It's like a one minute thing. Yeah, let's out here. See that right there. I'm gonna let y'all listen to it. I hope y'all can hear it. I hope it's not too loud though. It's one minute, you know. One minute and 47 seconds. So this is not a fair use. This is for a form of this, you know, information and 
and everything. So, so I think it's important for us to hear it. Harris and I just completed a briefing on both COVID and economic crisis facing this nation. And we're reminded again of the severity of this pandemic. Cases are on the rise nationwide, and we're nearing 240,000 deaths in the And our hearts go out to each and every family who's lost a loved one to this terrible disease. In America, the vote is sacred. It's how people of this nation express their will. And it is the will of the voters. No one, not anything else. Yep, not anything else. Yep, must be counted. That's what we're going to see going through now. And that's how it should be. Democracy yep. is sometimes messy. Yep, it is. Sometimes requires a little patience as well. Mm -hmm. but that patience has been rewarded now for like the Al Gore and Bush recount two thousand presidential election. We continue to feel Senator and I will continue to feel very good about where things stand. We have no doubt. When the count is finished, Senator Harris and I will be declared the winners. So, I ask everyone to stay calm. All people to stay calm. The process is yep, being stay calm, you guys. Stay the calm. It's being completed. And uh, we'll know very soon. So we will you know all. very soon. Well, you have to count the votes. God bless you all. And, uh, yep. I think it was a Trump supporter watching my video because as soon as I said I was going to play a video of what Joe Biden had to say, they got off, they got off the, the stream and stuff really fast. Got to be. I don't know. I'm just, you know, guessing. But I might be right though. Yeah. And they probably gave me a thumbs down too. I bet you. Bitch, I'm probably right. Let me check. Nope, I was wrong. But anyway. I go back outside and smoke a cigarette. Hopefully, no one's sitting out there, you know, All right. so I can sit down and smoke a cigarette. So I just looked up Byron and my screen just popped up. <laughs> See how easy it is to find my channel and find my streams? Because I put certain tags in there where it's easy for people to find stuff and stuff like that. I had brisket, I had Billy uh, baked potato, I had coleslaw, I see. I don't know if some of y'all seen the thumbnail, but yeah, that's brisket sandwich, 
Billy, uh, Baked Bean, uh, and coleslaw. Then I had vegetables on the side and stuff like onion, pepper, pickles. Yeah. So, you know, I had a pretty good meal, you know, better than, better than uh, McDonald's and, you know, or eating at Taco Bell or something like that. There's probably people still down there, sitting down. Oh, my friend is live. I gotta put on my headphones and go say hi to my friend. That's live. Ugh.
I gotta keep my I gotta keep my phone on the charger because it goes dead really quickly when I go live, you guys. You know, I think all phones do that. Except for the new iPhones and the new Samsung Galaxy phones that that you gotta pay like eight or nine hundred dollars to have the extended battery life and stuff like that. You know, most phones do that, so that's why er, some people really prefer to use a computer or use something else, like a bigger device to go live on instead of their phones. Because phones, you know, you don't really have that much battery life when you go live on uh, YouTube or social media. I'm wondering if I turn, uh, no man, I can't do that because it's on the charger and the charger will reach so, so long. People are there still, but they do got like a spot. I can sit at because three people can't sit on a bench together because social distance, you know. So, and they only have one bench, you know, in front of the hotel. So, but you can also like they got benches over there by where the like where you cross the street and stuff. Uh, you can sit on them, but uh, uh, we wouldn't want to do that, though.
I'm watching something that's making me laugh.
Hey, what's up, you guys?
Byron, by the way. Oh, I, I'm Danny. Yeah. Hey, nice to meet you, Danny. Nice to meet you. You know, having all this shit. Yeah, having it's kind of hard. It, it's for just like, how can you be like yeah, exactly, super? Exactly. You know? Exactly. That's so, just, yeah, yeah. Byron. All right. Yeah. I, I'm Danny. Yeah. It's kind of hard to, you know, communicate because right. some it's, people it's like, like, I don't. Sometimes, you, you know, you have the heads up. But I try to talk and, and, louder, but people are like, why are you yelling at me? I was like, no. Right, and my husband was like, why, you why are you yelling at everybody else? <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. baby, that's, that's me. Exactly. Everybody needs to know. Shoot, exactly, exactly.
Are you having a good night, Danny? So far? So far, yes. Me yes, too. I am. So, Me too. But, my power is still out in my apartment complex, so where, I'm still where, here. Where, where are you at? I'm on the south side. I don't know if we discussed where you were actually at. I don't think I, that we did. Because I but, know uh, that, you know, we my was getting been out ever since shitty. like the last and Monday. So it's been 10 days. Is it okay we come sit over here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Okay. You got anything? I don't huh? think I have anything. No. I don't think so. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm just a lazy bitch. <laughs> oh, lazy. My, my, my hey. I think that we all have laziness in us. No, my husband, that. my husband's like, oh, I'm a stand up kind of guy. With you. Okay, you can be the stand up kind of <laughs> yeah. guy. Fuck you. Is it? No, I'm lazy yeah. as shit. Because yeah. I will walk my, I walked this morning to go get him some sugar and butter. Uh-huh. He could have drove my ass to take me, but I walk. Yeah. I will walk the fuck out of anything so no if i have a i don't feel like walking moment then you better fucking give it to me i'm gonna exactly. tell you that much because okay so anyways okay so mm -hmm. you said you're at we where we we were
Hmm. You tired? Sleepy? Probably sleepy. Alright, I'm going upstairs. Have a nice sleep. Oh, she don't try to sneak in my hotel room, <laughs> drunk lady. She's a very talkative lady. She was drunk yesterday, too. Well, she's out there on the bench. Laying down. Oh. Oh, she left now. That was quick.
Hmm. <sighs>
What's up, you guys? Sorry for being quiet. Waiting for more people to come in the chat.
Michael. Hey, what's up, buddy? How's it going? Did you go to work today or you was off? Yeah, I did. Oh. Oh. oh, that's great. That's great. Great there. Oh, pretty good. Didn't really do too much. Went to uh, Billy uh, Sam's to eat lunch and stuff. Trying to figure out what I'm going to have for dinner. Yeah, I wish they had a Billy Sam's in uh, Minnesota so you can try out their brisket, barbecue brisket. Yeah, you like brisket, 
You like brisket, ribs. Oh, pulled pork and ribs. Ooh, ooh.
about passing gas you guys perfect
Hey, Silk. What's up? Silky Silk. Silky Smooth. Silk. Still don't got no power, Silk. They sent an estimate of repair time for my area, but they keep changing it. One minute. Uh, they say it was supposed to come on today, then, then the next minute they said it was supposed to come on uh, Wednesday, and then the next minute they said it was going to come on Friday, so they keep changing the repair, estimated repair time, so they said tomorrow night. You know? So I don't know when the power is going to come back on. But they did say last week on the news that it might take a month until a until they get everybody's power back on. So, so uh, hopefully by this week the power will be on. But they're working on it. But they have thousands of people without power. So I guess it takes takes some time, you know. takes because on Monday it was reported 200,000 people uh, without power in Oklahoma and, and that's a lot of people so hopefully they have it done by tomorrow sooner than tomorrow night Cause I really want to go home and clean up the refrigerator, and uh, but this one lady named Danny, this drunk lady that lives in a hotel with her, uh, with her uh, husband, she was telling me that her mother was had this voucher on Facebook, hotel voucher. People that lost power could use it and stuff like that. And I was telling her, the, the drunk woman, Danny, that uh, I didn't even know nothing about it because, uh, you know, I could have took it and I could have, you know, pretty much utilized it and everything like that. If I would have known last week about it, you know, because I feel like, you know, that would have saved me up money and everything like that, so. Cause that would have helped me out a lot, you know. Well, yeah, I've been in a hotel ever since pretty much. Ten days, you guys. So I don't know what's going to happen. Really. They keep sending me uh, updates. About, like, when the... When I should expect the power to be on in my area, but they keep changing the the repair time in, in a day, so who knows? You know, it might be on next week or next month. Uh, fly, uh, silk. I mean, <laughs> I said fly with child. So, uh, yep. I don't know. You know, I don't know.
Four people. Let's thumbs it up. Let's get up to ten. Let's get those thumbs up to ten. I know that we can. Let's get it up to ten so we can have more people come in. Yeah, it says I storm reinstall reinstortion reinstore update November 5th. We know many of our customers are still dealing with power outage is related to the statewide ice storm that hit our state hard last week. We also know there has been frustration called by messages from my OG alerts. We are deeply sorry for frustration this may cause we appreciate your patience and continued support of our crew who who are working part uh tirelessly to restore power since last monday yeah i see Well, y'all probably can't really see it because it's uh, kind of uh, reverse. So I'm going to turn it the other way. So that way y'all can see it. Yeah. Hey, I told y'all guys we, we had a statewide uh, power outage because of the ice storm. The really bad ice storm. Hey, sir, how you doing, honey? Best you see. It was statewide. It was a statewide power outage and stuff because of the... Who's that? Who are? Who's that? That is where someone knocking. This is not the first time they knocked. A couple of nights ago, it was a woman that knocked on my hotel room. I'm like, what the hell? You know, they think this is the apartment complex. They can just knock on people's hotel room.
What's been cracking, sir? I haven't seen you in a while. I'm glad that you came in the chat. You know, I've been missing you, bestie. This ain't no filthy, uh, someone get this person out of here because we don't need all that crap. Someone screenshot it too. Buy, buy Emmy Rose. I'm going to make a video about you exposing you. I'm going to expose you, Emmy Rose. I'm about to expose you. I'm about to expose you as soon as I get more evidence. I'm about to expose you. I just can't believe you at all. Can't believe that you would troll me and dox me. You of all people. Because someone came in the chat, Sarah Rose, earlier today and yesterday night and told me. So, and plus, I believe her because you got a history of trolling and doxing folks. And I know some of those people that you doxed and trolled before. And I know that they wouldn't lie or make up stuff. So, yeah. Once a troll, always a troll. Especially a psychopath, a psychopathical person is never going to stop trolling someone. Because they want to destroy people because of something that they don't got, something that has nothing to do with them. Something that that it has nothing to do with that. See all the people that's trying to come in the chat and uh all the people that is trying to come in the chat and try to defend people doxing Shannon and defend people doxing me. You know, you can kiss my butt. Cause I know who it is. I'm just waiting for more evidence. dealing with a unrest time and pretty much all you got to do is come in and chat and bug people who dealing with a lot of stuff that just shows how much integrity you have how much humanity you have and that just shows that you don't care about nobody but yourself If you did, then, then you would not be trying to hurt people and put people down when they're going through a lot of stuff right now.
see, all you do is prove my port. That's all you do. You never prove me wrong. You never prove me wrong. You never have proved me wrong. But you're supposed to be smart. But you're supposed to be smart than me. But you never proved me wrong. Talk, talk, talk. Words, words, words. Words ain't nothing but words. Anybody can make up stuff and say stuff. And the only person that's making up stuff and saying stuff is you, not me. Because I show facts all the time. I show screenshots and receipts of, uh, of a lot of stuff. But it still don't matter because you're going to think what you want to think. Amber Rose, you are, you are going down. You are going to be exposed. You keep it up. Because I'm just waiting for that information. And I'm going to expose you really hard. Because you're a bully. You abuse Shannon. You abuse me. You abuse all my other, uh, all my other YouTube friends. And it's not right. So... You be quiet. You came to my chat messing with me for no reason. I didn't I didn't mess with you. I didn't go to your channel and mess with you. Cause if I was stupid then why would I know who it is? I knew all along who it was, even before Server Rose came in here and spilled the beans to who it is. It all makes sense. It's very simple. Because you can't even prove to me. You can't even prove me wrong. I got an email. I got a social media page. I got video chat. All of that good stuff. You know, that just, I, that just shows how sick you are. Because you don't care about no one in my group. You don't care about me. You don't care about nobody. If you really actually care, you'd be trying to uplift me. Because what if you was going through some stuff? You know, what if you uh, was going through a lot of stuff? And someone just came at you. Every time. How would you feel? You never can answer my question. You never can answer a honest question, a simple question at that. 
because you know that I'm telling the truth and it hurts you because you can't refute me but I'm supposed to be the one stupid but you can't even refute a stupid person you know you had your chance a long time ago to refute me because that means that you are wrong because if you was right you would better refute me easily You know? So you don't got nothing on me but words. And and our people, uh, we don't believe words. We believe action and, and proof. Because you could say, because since you're a troll, how do we know? How can we trust you? How can we trust a troll? How can anybody on YouTube trust a troll? You know? You wouldn't even trust a troll yourself. So, so now you know how I feel. And why I why I go off on you so much. You mess with me, you better be prepared. You better be prepared for the angry bird. Prepared for the consequences. I ain't did nothing to you for you to come in here and troll me. I don't even know you. But I know that Envy Rose and a couple of other people are behind these accounts. Attacking people who don't do nothing to them. And I have a right to have an opinion. You know, say what I want to say is my channel. Just like I told you before. You haven't got it through your thick head. If you don't like me, don't watch. Because when you watch, that just proves my port all the time. Because why watch someone if you saying that that person is a bad person? Huh? I ain't going to watch no one who I think is a bad person. Who? Who's wishing bad on someone? Send me the screenshots, uh, uh, back up, please. Yeah, me personally, I don't wish bad on nobody. But if you play with fire, what do you expect is going to happen? You know, like, my mom used to always tell me, don't play with fire. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to get burned. Simple as that. It's not about, it's not about uh, nothing else. It's about common sense. Okay, thank you, Becca. And like what you do in your real life, you know, more power to you. You know, that's you. But you come in my chat, it is my business and it's personal. Okay, uh, Becca. And when you wish something bad on people, I know, I was just uh, wondering, I was just trying to make sure. Uh, when you wish something bad on someone, 
something bad is going to be wished on you ten times harder. And uh, I guess your mama didn't teach you, you know, that that wishing something bad on someone would come back and haunt you. Especially when it got something to do with something harmful and something uh, really bad. Yeah, yeah, I know, I've seen that. Um, maybe I should be as tough as Becca, because you never mess with Becca. You only mess with her whenever whenever you get an opportunity. But if I was as tough as Becca, you probably wouldn't mess with me, Troll. MB Rose, a.k.a. Troll, I know it's you. Come out of the bushes. Stacy's bestie. I'm just waiting on the end of this. I'm going to hit you hard. Expose you, Embry Rose. Because you have a history of trolling my other friends, too. And doxing folks. And see, that doxing crap is stupid. Like, whoever came up with that crap, man, shame, shame, shame on there. But I know it's been happening for years on YouTube, and nothing has been done about it. That's why people get away with it. But... Whoever came up with that crap, whoever first started doing that crap to people, they, their mama should be embarrassed and their daddy should have pulled out. Yeah, but see, you are tougher than me, Becca. And that's why they know not to mess with you. And I'm tough, but I'm not as tough as you. You know? I'm more like neutral and forgiving. Too forget. Too nice. I uh, appreciate you, Becca. Appreciate you. I don't know why MB Rose is messing with me. And and you know, pretty much her goons. Because of Stacy. 
because this didn't start happening like this until the first time me and Stacy started having problems. That's how I know it was Emily Rose. It's got to be. Of course, other people have trolled in the past, but other people have moved on and stopped. But Emily Rose, she never moved on. Because she's like a narcissistic psychopath. And psychopaths, they never leave you alone, no matter what. Exactly. Because, trust me, you guys, she would do anything for Stacy. She would even dox for Stacy. Because Stacy can't do it herself. Stacy can't come in here and, and troll herself. Uh, she can't do her own dirty work. So she got to get other people to troll me and Shan. Because why do you think that they're really picking on me and Shan? Think about it for a second. Because me and Shannon are close. And they're trying to get me and Shannon to fight. You know, pretty much like they're been doing for a long time. And they still haven't got me and Shannon to fight again. So they're pissed off because they have not been able to to break Shannon and to break me completely. And they're pissed off about that. And I keep telling them if I'm doing something that's making them troll me and attack me and dox me, I told them simply to prove me wrong. It's It's simple. You know what I'm saying? It's like I've been telling them that back uh, for months, and they still have never proven me wrong. But yeah, they supposed to be smarter than me, Becca, according to them. You know what I'm saying? They they call me names. They call me uh, retarded. They call me slow. But yet they can't even refute me. Or they can't even prove anything. You know? I, and plus this mask is watched. I watched it yesterday. Because I told y'all I was going to watch it yesterday. And y'all heard that water running and everything. So I watched this mask yesterday. You know, so a troll came in here and had something to say. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And they can't never have a strong friendship. They wish they had a strong friendship. Because why they're messing with poor, poor little Shannon. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they're making us look popular whenever we are really not popular. But we are a little bit popular. You know, might as well say that. Because obviously, it's like an everyday thing, guys. It's like an everyday thing. 99% of the time, when I go live, it's like this all the time. Exactly, exactly, Becca. Thank you, thank you. So, Charles, you see what Becca just said? Becca just spilled the truth. So, Charles, you are not smart when you put someone down. You know what I'm saying? You are not smart when you put someone down. Exactly. Bring your butt in here under your real avatar. Your real picture, your real channel, because you're not blocked. You know what I'm saying? But if you are blocked, you can at least acknowledge and come in here with your name and come in here with your avatar 
snap a picture of you and come in here with your avatar and say something. Say something. Cause you you got all because you got a you got a lot of things to say. Every day. Every freaking day. Ninety nine percent of the time. I could see if it was just forty percent of the time or it was just twenty percent of the time. But now nah, 99% of the time, you always have something smart to say, but you won't say it in my face. Because if you did say it in my face, then you would already did so. So that just proved my point there. You know, you keep proving my point. But you're supposed to be smart, but you're not smart. If you would, then you would already prove me wrong. And that's why I'm so stressful, and that's why I smoke a lot, and that's why I'm so mad and, and pissed off. It's because, you know, you make me mad and pissed off. You provoke me every day. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you make it impossible to torture me. Making it impossible for me to really just like live my life. So I'm going to pretty much pretty soon when I gather all the information that I need. I'm going to expose you, Emmy Rose. Because I know it's you. You can't say, oh, it's not me. No. No. I don't buy it. Other people might not know you, but if, but it's very simple, because when me and Stacy had all those problems, and we we stopped being close for a while, and you attacked Stephanie too, because anybody that disagreed with Stacy, in which. Which I was always neutral with Stacy when it came to my friendship with her. I was always understanding and I was always her backbone and everything like that when she was accusing people of bullying her or harassing her. But I didn't never do her dirty work and troll people and dox people. Because I ain't like that. I'm not a bad person. Mm. Because bad people do crap like that. That's why I know that y'all trolls. Can't tell me nothing. Even if I was doing something, y'all still couldn't tell me nothing. Because you know why? Because y'all the one doxing folks and coming in here with troll accounts and trolling folks and attacking folks. So why would someone listen to someone who is a bully, someone who bullies all of his friends, you know? Yeah. I read a listen to freaking Trisha, truthfully Trisha, then y'all because Trisha never docks me or bullied me. You know what I mean? Of course she blasts me all over Twitter, but that situation was a completely different situation. You know? And I already made a song about that a long time ago. It's called Double Cross. I already hit her hard with the nail. So I don't got to worry about her anymore. 
Cause she ain't, she ain't messing with me like that. You know, like other people are. You know? Even though that me and her are not friends, and we are not like, you know, close, close anymore, me and truthfully Trisha ain't. Thank God, I seen the light a year ago. But at least she's not trying to come after me like Emmy Rose is. And that's the truth. I know that Emmy Rose, she's at home 24-7. Every time I go live, she's there under her troll accounts with her goons messing with me for no reason. Just like she had done to multiple people on YouTube. You know? So, when, so if she ever says that she didn't do nothing, then that's BS. Because I already know. Because I don't even have to find out because I already know. But I'm going to find out anyways, just to be transparent and to prove to y'all my porn all along. You know what I'm saying? Because if you play games with me, I'm going to pretty much call you out. And I'm going to call the hypocrisy app. You know, simple as that. If you don't play games with me, and you cool with me, I'm cool with you. But until you start playing games with me, and messing with me, and messing with Shannon, and messing with everyone else that I care about and love, I got a problem. And yes, when you mess with my friends, yes, I'm going to get angry at you. Because I I don't like it when people bully people that are not doing nothing wrong at all. You know? I used to deal with bullies in school in elementary, but in but in high school I never had to deal with bullies because I was a popular kid in class. And that's why I never had to worry about it because I was in regular classes also. You know, I, mean, I was in regular science class. I was in regular history class. The only class that was special was my English and math because I, I really sucked at math. You know, I needed more help in that area than I did science and uh, history. And... Uh, they don't put you in regular classes for no reason. You know, you would have to, you know, be a little smart to be in regular class. And really, you don't have to be smart to be in regular class. Really. But... In my school, you do. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. That was brisket, uh, Ola. Ola, I miss you. Where you been, Ola?
Oh, you, oh, okay. So do it takes good with vinegar sauce? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Well, no, he's not really messing with me. You know, his girlfriend was just messing with me. You know? But his girlfriend was just messing with me. You know? But he's not really, like, messing with me. You know, from what I know of. Maybe someone else knows something. But, you know, I haven't seen him mess with me. But uh, his girlfriend was messing with me, harassing me. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, she stopped. I'm surprised because, but she might be still coming on the troll accounts. You know, she might be still doing that. Uh, because a couple of days ago, I seen someone come in a troll account saying something about I was uh, looting miners on a fake record label, which my record label ain't fake at all. And I got videos to prove that, old videos. And uh, and she was saying that I was looting a miner to a fake record label, in which that right there is false. She was trying to, you know, defame my character. And I made a video about her, which you already know. But the reason why I made that video because I just came to uh, RSN's chat just to support him. And I became a paid member on there. But I felt like I was disrespected by his girlfriend. Because how are you going to disrespect someone that was a big supporter of RSN for a while? And that kind of disappointed me. Because, you know, when someone is supporting a certain creator, especially whenever they're contributing to their channel, and you have someone who who is the who is the creature, or who is whatever they want to call them, trying to uh, disrespect you and trying to defame you and belittle you, then that would make you feel a certain way. And that would turn you away from that person's channel all along. Because, you know, whenever, I never really had a problem with that girl until she started attacking me on her boyfriend's channel. And she started defaming me. And, and when I would go to her boyfriend's channel, I never, never, never really caused problems. Never. I just wanted to come in there and support her boyfriend, which that right there, you know, you know was a mistake from the start. Because, you know, he's with her. He's going to ride with her. He's going to agree with everything no matter what she does and says. You know what I'm saying? And that's kind of sad because 
a year ago, people were complaining about me agreeing with Shannon on a lot of things, with which Shannon had her reasons to say what she said or and do what she did. You know, so I find that kind of hypocritical that some people, you know, they 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 uh think it's okay for their creature or their uh friend or or a girlfriend or whoever to just come after you know come after them but yet if i do do something like that then i'm obviously a bad person I just don't get that at all because I thought that we were supposed to be fair and equal to everybody, but I guess not. And I guess those people only fair to certain people, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes I just don't understand at all, stand those people. So yeah. And maybe I shouldn't understand them. Maybe I don't want to understand them.
Oh, your internet went down. Uh, hola. Yeah. It happens. My internet always goes down, even in my apartment. Even when I'm at uh, streaming from my apartment. Hey, uh, Pink. What's up, Pink? Pink. I guess not, you know. She pops up when she pops up, you know, pretty much. You know, she pops up when at least not expecting it. You know? Cause you know this that we don't really see her uh, in the chat as much. Just whenever she, whenever she uh, pops up, that's very rare. You know. So. Find that kind of uh, find that kind of odd, though. Cause that's just like me popping up in just like me popping up in people's chats and coming in their chats and causing problems and. And not showing up when there's not even no problems. You know, people would think that's suspicious. You know? But see, the difference between me and other people, I don't do that crap. I don't play games like that. If you... If if you want me in your chat, I'll be in your chat. You know, a lot more than just rare. You know, rarely, like every once in a while. 
because if I support you, I support you all the way. You know, there is no shortcuts. There is no, you know, no bad intentions with me when I support someone. You know? So, some people are just, you know, inconsistent, you know, when it comes to uh, friendship. But as soon as you be inconsistent, it's a problem. Or you be a little inconsistent, it's a problem. And that's been going on for over a year now. And probably before that. And I understand that people have lives, but why pop in when it's when it's issues? Why not pop in when it's n no issue? You know, like I'm like, what the heck? You know. I know people were, you know, but they're always in here when there's drama. It's kind of mighty funny how that is, you know. Yeah. When certain people come in the chat when it's drama. more so than in any other time. And a lot of these people, they don't really care about us. All they care is they want to divide us and make us angry at each other so they can say that we are crazy people or and so they can be entertained but when 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 they don't get their way they even attack more harder on us. You know what I'm saying? And it's funny how they always say, I told many times, but they won't prove to me. Just because you see a screenshot, someone impersonating my name does not mean me. Because anybody could, could pretty much pretend to be you but are you really going to believe, or is people really going to believe that it's, uh, okay. Are people really going to believe that it's you just because someone came in here with your name? And the reason why I know who these people are, because why would they say that I I trolled them so many times? Who would say that? You know, and it, and I found it kind of funny because. 
I'm the only I'm the one to be telling them that hey I got a number I got a social media page on a video chat talk about something I'm all ears not much Lexi what you doing Because back in the days, we used to do it the right way. When we had a problem, we would call each other up and discuss things. Something. And uh, we didn't have the internet and put people on blast, nothing like that. Nope. Why would you say something like that? Why would you say something stupid like that? Whenever I told everybody A week ago on video and streams and what was going on nope nope you thought wrong because if I would have got kicked out I would have told y'all guys y'all know that I didn't get kicked out. We had an ice storm in Oklahoma, in in Oklahoma, and that ice storm caused a power outage statewide. And I even posted a screenshot of what's going on on my community page. So if you haven't seen it, please do go see it and go read what I said. Because I think that you probably do know, but you just want to ask me a question anyways. Because you want to hope for the worst instead of the best. Just because, you know, it's a lot of people are here because of the power outage. Now research, do your research. Look up Oklahoma City or Oklahoma Ice Store and power outage. Look up that, Google that. And look at my community posts too. And look at my recent videos of me explaining that. I would never kicked out of my apartment because because I pay my rent and I don't do nothing to get kicked out of a park yeah to that you know and they ask questions that they already know because I'm pretty sure that they seen my video of me talk about it and they seen the community post and everything. And and all they gotta do is look up ice storms in OKC in pretty much Oklahoma and do their homework and research. they always do the research on other stuff so they could do the research on the ice store that happened in Oklahoma.
I even give you the link to take you to what's been going on right here in Oklahoma. Because obviously people are living under a rock, even though I already explained it, and I already, you know, went over it dozens of times already on video. And besides, I would never get kicked out of my park. I wouldn't do nothing do get kicked out of my park. I've been, I'm still over there. There's just no power. Like I said, time after time after time on video. You know, and all you gotta do is do your research on it and and you will find out what's going on. If you don't know or you pretending like you don't know. You just want to assume the worst, you know, not the best. Hold on, let me uh, let me get that link. Even USA Time is talking about it. I'll give you the link.
Yeah. Hurting a little bit, I'm going to go in. Um, Shannon. Yep. It was, it started uh, last Monday. And more than 200,000 people was without power for days. 200,000 people was without power for days. And some people are still without power ever since last Monday. So now we on day 10, we are gonna go to day 11. If the power doesn't, if they don't get the power on by uh, tomorrow, then we'll be already on day 11 without power. And we didn't know how bad it was going to be, but we knew that it was going to be bad, you know. Because as soon as we heard that it was going to be freezing rain and all the other stuff, 
right close to November, then we knew it was going to be bad. We just didn't know how how it was going to be like, how it was going to, how severe it was going to be exactly until it hit the state of Oklahoma. And that's why a lot of people are at hotels or over family members' house who have power or who have generators. You know, because some people, you know, they have power and some people don't. But there's thousands of people still without power. And that's why it's taking so long to get the power back on. Because they're working on it. And they're not just working on it where I stay. They're working on it like a lot of areas, a lot of places. And thank God for those og workers, they're working really hard day and night on to make sure the customers have power again. And they're working hard like all day, every day, ever since Monday. And that's a really, really tough burden on the OGE workers to uh, to deal with right now, because we was not participating in this at all. And I'm pretty sure the workers of the electricity company was not participating in it. It uh, but Mother Nature has has ways to trick up on us with something that really affects a lot of us in in uh state of Oklahoma. Not just Oklahoma City or, or not just certain areas, but everywhere. And that's why a lot of businesses been only accepting cash only until they can get their power back up. Because when power goes out, machines inside those stores go out too. Because they're electricity. They run on electricity. So, let someone in five years or 20 years figure out something that they can invent. Something that's a backup, something that's more guaranteed than a power generator, then in a couple of years this might happen again. Hey, or somewhere else. And you never know, it might hit your city. You might hit your state, and then you. So then, then, then you would be telling me, "Wow, man, we don't have no power, nothing like that." You know. So it can happen anywhere across the USA, you know, and a lot of the couple of the other states outside of us uh, are dealing with hurricanes and stuff like that and that's like really really bad to to deal with and it's hard to deal with something like that because a lot of people don't have resources like I do like others do some people here they can afford a place to stay but putting the pods down and, 
and getting approved for an apartment and everything like that. Uh, you know, they struggle with. So, and that's why they got to stay in a hotel for a week or however long they stay. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's nothing wrong with staying in a hotel when your power is off. You know, because you got to do what you got to do to survive if you don't have a lot of options. Hello. Hey, hey. Hey, Danny. How you going? Going pretty good. Good. Plus, I got to get some ice, you guys, again. I wish they had, like, one of those ice buckets. You know, those ice buckets. Those people be having in hotels and stuff. Oh, yeah, like, it is crazy. And, boy, if you was her, only do you know. You know, it was, it's been crazy, like, especially with the election went on Tuesday and stuff on the 3rd, and people are all freaking out about it, and freaking out about the ice storm, the power outage, everything. And then on top of that, we're dealing with a pandemic, turn too, just as well as everyone else is. Right under President Trump, right under the Republicans, not the Democrats, Republicans. I know the Republicans want to blame the Democrats for all of this, but but the Democrats are not in the White House, and they're not in the Senate. Well, some of them are, but... 
majority that's in the Senate is the Republicans that's in Congress. So they can do a lot with their power to Americans are facing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand they, a lot of them answer to people, but they can do a lot more than what they've been doing. You know? And even people, Trump supporters, even know that they can do more than what they had did. And the stimulus is not going to really change a whole lot of things. People in Congress and that's in the Senate, you know, knows that. But it's really up to them to do something about it. Or at least try to do something about it. You know? Because it never hurts trying. You know?
but you can't complain because you complain, then you're a whiner. Obviously. According to these trolls who don't really care about nobody but themselves, you know. And all they want to do is wish it's bad on us not good of us and I know ignoring them would be easy but when you're dealing with narcissistic people and you're dealing with psychopaths and you're dealing with internet animals then that's not going to be an easy task they're not going to go away easily because According to them, you hurt them, but but if you hurt them, won't they like you know come in come in come in a chat under the regular names? Cause my channel. 99% of my channel has content. The channel that I don't have content on is because I don't get on those channels. Those other channels are just throwaway channels. But they're not troll channels at all. Because I don't really like these people that's falsely accusing me of trolling them, they're not even important to troll anyways. So, even if I was trolling them, it would be just wasting my time. But I don't do stuff like that. I don't roll like that. Never have, never would.
That's why I find that kind of funny when people say that I'm trolling them, or I've been trolled them multiple many times when in fact they know that I don't do stuff like that. If they didn't know that then I would understand, but they know that. But they just basically want to keep up with this lie, the lie that they already know that's a lie. You know? So it's kind of like. You know someone who accuse you of something that they know 100% that it's not true. But yet they insist that it is when it's not. And in fact, whenever they are the ones doing it themselves, you know, could they say a guilty person always falsely accuse people of stuff? Because they're doing it themselves, not because you are doing it, because they're they're the ones who are doing it and stuff, you know, and that's why they're falsely accusing you of something that they're doing, you know, themselves, and they're trying to entrap you. And they're trying to make the rest of the rest of the people on YouTube to think like them. But I know that majority of people I'm friends with on YouTube does not think like them at all. And and they really don't like that. Because they want everybody to agree with their lies and and their delusions because when you know something that's not to be true but you stick with a lie then it tells others what else is that person lying about because they're going to lie on you on something that they know Darn well, that's not true. What else have they have they told? What else lies have they told them or told on anybody? Like, right. I get it that sometimes people misunderstand things, but. But it's really not that hard to know the truth. And it's really not that hard to just like, okay, you know, uh, tell it like it is and tell it like the way it looks, you know? And that's what I do. You know, I observe things, I listen to things. So sometimes if I have to tell something, you know, that should be discussed, then I would tell it. So, 
And that's why last Monday I told y'all, some of y'all guys who were watching my videos and streams what was going on and why I was in a hotel. And some people did not think that it was bad, but it was. You know what I'm saying? Well, some people thought it was just a small thing, but it wouldn't.
But um, hopefully the power comes back on by tomorrow. If not, by Friday. You know? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. You know, I'm glad it's, it's like, comfortable, you know, and, like, and it could be, you know, much worse. Exactly, exactly. Like, and I just hope that that this election will be over. Yeah, it ain't home, but it's somewhere to stay until you get back home, pretty much.
Mm.
Ooh, shit.
嗯。What's up, you guys?
Sup, you guys? I'm about to get off for her. Watch the movie with John Candy. Rest in peace, John Candy. Uh, Uncle Bob. Most of y'all probably already saw that movie hundreds of times, thousands of times before. But uh, I haven't seen Uncle Buck in a long time. The movie Uncle Buck in a while. So I'm going to watch it after I get off for her. Hold on, I gotta use the restroom.
Hmm. I don't think, I don't think that she's, uh, I think that she's asleep, Teresa. Get off a little bit. Try to sleep myself. You know? So. If y'all want to do a panel together, you know, y'all can uh, tell y'all differences and everything like that. You know? But you know what happened last time when I tried to defend, uh, I tried to defend Sir because Sir was called the B word. And that didn't go well. You know. Mm -hmm. So, if I defend it. So, if I defend people then for for her calling people a bee then all that drama would start back again and stuff but no nobody should call someone a bee but the thing about it is last time when that happened we we had all that drama so that's why the best thing to do is either uh, is to do a panel together and talk out your differences, and you know, because sometimes you know, like if you have problems with someone or someone has problems with you. You know, just do a panel, talk out your differences, and talk to you just figure out what's the problem. You know, and and call each other out. You know, so like you can call her out, and she can call you out, and you know, y'all can talk about stuff, and you know, so.
Well, whenever I was outside, you know, I didn't know that she was going to call you a little bitch, you know, at all. But, it, but, but if I argue with my friend, then I'm going to have drama. So, but, like I said, we can, we can all do a panel together. Well, the thing about it is, you know, me and Shannon had our problems in the past, but, well, we've been getting along, and other people, sometimes they come in the chat and try to stir up the pot and everything like that, you know, so, Shannon is protected over me, and plus I'm protected over her. I can't choose sides, you know, because you're my best friend. Shannon, do you want to weigh in that? Oh, that message at the top. The message that was uh, at eight twelve. Hmm. Well, Shannon, it's your chance to uh, say something. Don't back down. She's in the chat. Teresa's in the chat, so it's your chance to say something, Channing.
I really don't know. I don't know. I don't know why she's not. You know, I don't know, Teresa. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's crazy. So much things going on in the world. Hmm. Well, I guess she doesn't want to talk. So, you know, I don't want really to know. Well, the thing I don't get is why is it? always something like almost every day you know why can't everybody just get along you know yeah I never you know I never you know on any of my friends be called names, but but last time I tried to do something about it, you know, I had drama and trouble, you know, Teresa. You know? So I'm not going to uh try to fight that battle that I can't win. Because I didn't already try to fight that battle, but it's a lose lose situation, Teresa. So, you know, I just wish both of y'all can just get along.
Cause I'm friends with you and I'm best friends with Shannon, you know? I don't know where it all started. You know, I know people have been called some names and stuff. I just don't know, you know, where it all started. But I hope it don't continue, Teresa. Sorry to hear about that, Teresa. You know, I thought, I thought maybe the drama was swatched. You know, like yesterday, but I guess not. No, uh, no, what I mean is yesterday, I, everything was good, you know, like, and I thought that, that maybe Shannon did move on because she didn't talk about you yesterday or in the chat, so. She didn't say nothing about you yesterday in the chat, but I guess today, you know, like, yeah. Yeah, the thing about the boyfriend situation, I think uh, when she was getting her address stops, I think that's the reason why she was saying that she lived with her boyfriend, because she was being attacked, 
and everything. You know, before you came in the picture and stuff like that, before I, you know, me and you started being good friends and stuff. That's just my opinion, you know. But I really, no, I really can't read her mind, but from the way I see it, you know, she might have been like, like uh, she might have been uh, really scared You know, uh, and that's probably why she said that she loves a little boyfriend, you know what I'm saying? But the baby situation, you know, I talked about it already, but I don't want to add more fuel to the fire with it, but, uh, but y'all guys already know how I feel about the baby situation, you know? told y'all a while back um, but I try to forget I tried to forget about it because you know uh, I could dwell on it like all the time but that right there is not gonna help the situation it's not gonna help me or help Chad and or help anybody. Cause if I talk about it, then that's just gonna cause add more drama, and more drama, and that's something that that we don't need. You know, none of us need that. Oh, wow. It says judges in Michigan and Wisconsin dismiss Trump's campaign lawsuits. And I knew that they were going to dismiss it because there is no way Anybody on the Democratic side is trying to cheat that man out of his presidency. You know what I'm saying? That's why Biden said we should be patient and count every vote and make sure it's right and everything. But Trump thinking that people are people are cheating. But people are not. No one's cheap. 
there's no evidence of it whatsoever. There's no evidence of it at all. And uh, so Trump's claim that people are cheating the election is is ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? And that might be his opinion, but no one's cheating nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like I know he just don't know how to take a a loss for a loss. And he's the type, he's just like his father. You know, his father never wanted to take losses. He always wanted to win. And Truck even said that he doesn't like to lose. He even said that he likes to win all the time. But sometimes in this world, things don't always go your way. You know what I'm saying? Especially when the current situation, how you handle 2020, it just shows you that voters, you know, are not, uh, are not living their best lives now because of your presidency, Trump. And it's not because of Joe Biden. It's not because of anybody else except for you. You cannot blame it on anybody except for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, Trump is the type of person like his father. He doesn't care he just want to win, win, win. He's kind of like that football player who gets angry all the time and throw fits because he can't win and he can't take no losses, you know? And Hillary Clinton took losses back in 2016 with Donald Trump. She took losses, she called him up, congratulated him, everything. It's not like she said, oh, well, I'm going to take this to the Supreme Court. Oh, this and this and that, you know, stuff like that. Nah, she took the loss. And, of course, she wanted to be president. You know what I'm saying? Who doesn't want to be president, right? A lot of people want to be president. You know, who doesn't want who doesn't want that power? But that power also comes with uh, accepting a loss. Accepting the fact that you're not always going to win. No matter how much money you have or how many power you have. You know? And this, this election season is the most fur is election season ever. You know, you know, based in my personal opinion, from what I see, you know what I'm saying? Uh, there's no surprises, there's no funny business, nothing like that is going on. And I guess he doesn't like the fact that Joe Biden can actually, he has a high chance becoming president of the United States because he was vice president for eight years right everybody uh, of course Donald Trump could have won if he would have handled certain things in 2020 the right way and people are frustrated and they're tired of the same old same old they thought that he was going to be the same old, same old, but obviously they thought wrong. So, Trump needs to take a spade for a spade and face reality because no one's doing anything wrong when it comes to this election. 
you know? So, and maybe he was hoping things would actually go his way. Her cousin baby was not, was not she supposed to adopt Laura Fields' baby? Uh, she was supposed to, uh, according to my understanding, Teresa, you know, from what I heard, she was supposed to adopt a baby, but from what she told me, she gave the baby back to, uh, her cousin, and her cousin decided to stay off drugs and everything like that, you know, uh, from what she told me. And yes, it, it is her cousin's baby, and whenever she told me that she was going to adopt it and take care of it, she did tell she did show me pictures of a baby, you know, and, you know, like, I was assuming that the baby was her cousin's baby, which, because she ain't never, like, like, uh, she ain't never made me suspicious at that time period when she was, like, telling me that she was going to adopt a baby because she I could hear the baby in the background when she's uh, feeding the baby and taking care of the baby so and then she showed Flower Child a lot of pictures too as well and Whenever I find out that she would she was not gonna adopt the baby, I was very I'm gonna admit it. I was very shocked about it. But you know, I said what I said back then, but I got over it and moved past moved forward from it, you know? Because I feel like you know, dwelling on it is just going to make things worse. And and it doesn't make it any better for me to dwell on it. So that's why when me and Shannon started getting along and started being friends, I just dropped it and just left it at that, you know? Because, hey, you know, uh, like, she might have thought that she was going to get the baby. And maybe she made a mistake, you know what I'm saying? Like, and maybe she thought that she was going to get the baby. But I did hear the baby in the background, and she was taking care of the baby. You know, I did hear that. Uh, and then she did send me pictures of the baby.
down. Wish they had a venom machine, but they don't. So I don't want to, but I might go to the store get a snack or stuff like that. I'm sorry about what's going on. You know, I wish it was going on. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, butterfly drama, you know, about about eight uh eight twelve earlier, I guess uh Shannon called uh Teresa a bitch and Teresa saw the message and so that's you know I know if someone called me a bitch, I would probably be upset too, so I don't blame Teresa at all, you know, you know, so. But I hopefully my phone charge up if I do go to the store. But I might not though. So I don't wanna I'm like really sleepy though right now. 
I have to go to the store in the morning. Yeah, Teresa, yep. Yeah, I'm very comfortable, Teresa. You know? What's that vending machines in the hotel? I think they do, but we got it all blocked off, so. Okay, I won't go to sleep on you. Mm. I think maybe it's time for a cigarette, you guys. What do y'all think? Okay, it's time for a cigarette. I gotta get up.
No, we can't, you know. Back in the day, you used to be able to smoke in a hotel, but you can't anymore. You gotta smoke outside, unfortunately. But I might go to the store, too, because I really need to give me a snack to reach that uh, butterfly so I can wake up. Cause I haven't eaten dinner today. Okay, Teresa. Yeah. Auto auto correction. Yeah, those the auto correction. It's me all the time whenever I'm typing in the chat. Uh. Okay, talk to you later, uh, butterfly. Dang, this phone is about to go dead. Have a good time, butterfly. Have a good one.
everybody. See you later, Teresa.
Oh man, I'm surprised the bus is still running. Oh, his, the last bus stopped running at 12. Shit, I could have caught the bus <laughs> early. Try to so I won't walk in the stickers on my on my uh on my pants or shoes or anything. I think some people got kicked off, kicked out or something at the hotel. They said, who snitched on us? I was thinking to myself, like, wow, they must have did something really bad. Because it takes a lot to get kicked out of a hotel, especially this type of hotel. You know, you know, you have to, for them to kick you out for no reason. Uh, it would have to be either like uh, biased towards you or something. Or maybe they, uh, they had too many people in there, and so they're trying to get more vacancies open for everyone else, because these hotels have been, been crowded, like, everywhere. You know, and the power out of this thing just made it worse, you know. Like, for a lot of people, so now people are like, oh, what I'm going to do now? You know, there's nothing I really can do, you know, people like that. You know, but it's Thursday, almost Friday, which it is Friday, really, actually Friday, early morning. with this but I guess the club gonna be popping tomorrow and Saturday but hopefully my power comes back on later on today later on the night or whatever cause you know
and power off the stuff. You know, especially when you had it off for days. Hold on, I gotta mute this. Hello. Let me get some change out.
Can I get a bag, please? Okay, thanks. Would you also like a copy of your receipt tonight? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Sure. All right. Thank you. You just too. Feels good tonight, you guys. Feels really, really good tonight. Compared, compared to two nights ago. I had to mute it, you guys, it's playing music. Be a lot of people walking around here, you guys. Hope I don't get no stickers on me.
stickers, stickers. Hey, hey, how you doing? Sorry you got blocked the other day, but other than my best friend don't like you. Sorry about that. Yeah. Oh, you know, she's overprotected over me, you know. I made it back to the hotel, hotel, holiday inn. Say what? Hope I didn't get no stickers on me like I did last night walking to the store. Grass and stickers. Yeah, me too. Thank you. I appreciate you. Tell you what, I give you a wrench back over here. They could be protected. Hmm. Hmm. Went to the store. Teresa went to sleep. Yeah. Hope she sleeps pretty good. And I hope everyone, hope all y'all sleep pretty good.
Take it out. You're welcome. Yeah, you do. And you also are my girlfriend. I'm just joking. <laughs> Teasing you. Uh, Yar, how much did you have to drink? I do. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, over 10 hours. I think I need to get, need to get out. Okay, Graham. Uh, see y'all 
There we go. Wow. Okay, Batman. Give me a lighter, okay? Bye.